everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time you've been here before, my name is Jordan Miller and I review boxing gear. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing a really interesting product called the Boxing Hand Grenade Fist Loader. Um, this is a British company, but there is a British store and pretty recently a USA store um, that sell these. So I'll have a link down below for each of those stores for you to check out. Um, it was the USA store who sent these over to me to try out. Um, I've been using them for about a month now, uh, so I'm ready to do the review for you. Um, so this is the case they come in. It's actually uh, pretty nice, a uh, tin um, with some, some foam in the bottom to uh, kind of keep these protected. And these are the fist loaders, um, the hand grenades. So these are made out of a what they describe as a platinum catalyzed liquid silicone rubber. Um, so they, they do have this rubbery feel, so you can kind of see these are pliable um, and very shock absorbing. Um, and they are kind of tapered where they're a little larger on this side, a little smaller on this side, and that's meant to kind of match up with the contour of your hand here when you make a fist so that it fits in there a little more natural like that. You know, see my knuckles are pretty flat here, so that's the design. They report, their idea is that this uh, product helps with four things. One, it helps with shock absorption um, because of its silicone material, that it helps uh, protect the structural integrity of your hand. Uh, three, that it kind of works the muscles in the hand, and four, that it kind of improves the kinesthetic or kind of feel uh, of the strike uh, with your fist. Um, so that's the idea uh, behind these. Um, I've used these um, training in different scenarios with different gloves. So I've used these always with hand wraps with zero knuckle protection. I've used it with gel pad knuckle protection. Um, and I've used it with a, like a memory foam, foam type uh, knuckle protection. I've used it with fight gloves, um, 10 ounce fight gloves, 12 ounce training gloves, 14 ounce training gloves, 16 ounce training gloves. I've used it with very compact gloves like my 1v1 12 ounce horsehair gloves. I've used it with normal to larger size gloves, like my 16 ounce rival RFX Guerrero sparring gloves, um, and gloves in between, like my Fly Super Lace, both the X and the Genuine Leather line. I used them with winning, my 14 ounce winning gloves, a lot of gloves. Um, so a lot of different scenarios, used them on heavy bag, Nazo heavy bag, as well as my aqua bag, um, and the double end bag. So a lot of different scenarios to test out if this product does any of the things that they claim uh, it is, uh, that it's supposed to do. Um, I didn't know what to think. I've never used anything like these before, um, so, but I was definitely willing to give it a try. Um, I hate it when I bruise my hands, um, you know, whether it's my knuckles or, or just you know, any of the bones in my hand. So I was definitely willing to try something that, that might help it out. So my overall experience with these has been very positive. Um, I will say, so I think a lot of people when they think about boxing gloves, they want to know, well, what's the padding like? How protective is the padding? And the padding is important, but the, I would say, at least for me, uh, the ergonomics of the glove, how well the glove supports your hand in a natural fist position, to me, is more important than the type of padding over the top and how thick it is. It could be horse, if it holds my hand, well, if the ergonomics are good, for me, it doesn't matter if it's horsehair, it doesn't matter if it's latex foam, uh, multi-layer foam, a combination of all of that, one inch thick, three inches thick. Um, if the ergonomics are good, my hands are protected and I don't have issues. So that's what I would choose um, if in a glove is better ergonomics over really plush protective padding over the knuckles. Um, so this product, what, I've, what I feel like it does is if you have a pair of gloves that doesn't have excellent or even perf you know, perfect ergonomics, this brings in the um, er ergonomic structure that you need 
to protect your hand. So it has been, it has made me like some of the gloves that I had before more um, with them than compared to using without them. So I will say it does definitely provide this ergonomic, it does protect the structural integrity of your entire hand by using these. So I do agree with that. I also think it does help with shock absorption um, because again, I, when I previous to training with these, I often would train with some sort of knuckle protection over the top. Um, but to test these out, I trained with these with no gel pads, no foam, nothing, just hand wraps. And I didn't have any issues with my knuckles, um, which is not always the case. So I do believe that this silicone rubber does a good job at just helping absorb the shock impact. Um, and my hand was well protected uh, with that. So I think it does that well. And then three, it's kind of hard to describe. It's, it's, I think it's the claim where they say it, it helps with the kinesthetic strike and kind of sensory feel of your hand, uh, of your fist striking something. Your hands feel like just solid bricks in the glove. Um, and so, yeah, I, don't, you, you, I don't know, I feel like I could punch through the bag. Um, they just feel so solid. And with some experience and as you, you know, really kind of start laying into the bag and you see that you're not hurting your hand, you can really, really strike the bag quite hard. So I do think it does that as well. Um, whether or not it works out the muscles in my hand, I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Um, my, my hands are not, the hand muscles are not sore. Um, and I don't know a way to really like test if they're any stronger than they were. But the other things are well worth it. So I've been extremely pleased with these. I like them a lot. Um, and now I train with them all the time. So you can get these um, from the UK store. I have a link down below. These are 20 pounds. Um, or you can get these, there's a USA retailer now. So you don't have to pay that international shipping, wait as long, it sits in customs forever because of COVID stuff. So these are uh, 35 US dollars from the USA store. So I'll put a link down below where you can get those um, from the USA store, if that makes more sense for you, depending on where you live. Um, but yeah, I, I very much enjoy these. Um, they really do uh, help the ergonomics of your hand and don't just protect these knuckles up here. They protect all the knuckles in your hand. Um, they help absorb the shock of the impact when you're striking. Um, and they definitely just make your hands feel, I don't know, just like bricks in the bag, just so solid. Um, it's, it's a great feeling and it's very protective. So I'm a huge fan of these and I train with them all the time now. Um, so what I'd like to do now is kind of show you just a quick tutorial, like how I wrap them in those different settings, how I wrap my hands with these when I'm not doing any knuckle protection, how I do it with gel pads and how I do it with, um, uh, like a memory foam, uh, type padding over my knuckles. So I'll show you how I do that now. All right. So here we have the boxing hand grenade fist loader. If you didn't know which hand to use it in, you can see here, there's an R for the right hand and left. So you want whatever hand you put it in, you want that letter facing up. So if you're gonna put this one in your right hand, this goes in your right. If you want this one in your left hand, it goes in your left. Um, so I'm gonna show you here first how I wrap my hand with these when I'm not putting anything extra over my knuckles. So I know there's a million different ways to wrap your hands. This video is not about that. Um, it's really, you know, you'll, you'll see how with how I wrap mine, how I incorporate it. If you wrap your hands a little differently, I think you'll still get the idea. So start with my wrist, across the back of my thumb, and then I come up top. So I go across, whenever you get up to this point and you're where you're going across your knuckles, once I have this down once, that's when I put it on my palm. And again, right hand, so you want the the R facing up, and then I kind of test it, make sure it feels good there, we're good. And then I'm gonna wrap around this. I always go over my knuckles three times. So that's what we have there. And then I come down across the back. And I'll show you what that looks like there. But that's, by doing that, that's not really going, even right there, it's, it's, it's really secure, it's not going anywhere. Um, so I'll finish wrapping my knuckles. As 
you can see here. So from the top, you know, looks similar to most most hand wraps, depending on you know how you how you wrap your hands. But this thing in here, it's 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 not going anywhere. It doesn't shift around, or when you put it in the glove, this thing is locked in. You can see, I have when I'm when I'm making a fist, it's keeping these knuckles all across, nice and flat and parallel to each other. You know, compared to this hand. As you can see, you know, natural with with nothing in there, you kind of get you can get that taper. So, it's supporting all of these knuckles and and all of your all of the bones in your hand as well. So really comfortable, um, very supportive, very ergonomic, um, and fits in the glove. You know, compact or not, um, didn't have any issue with that. It is it feels a little different. It does take a little getting used to, but after training with them a few times, and once you get going, you you really don't notice it. So, so that's how I wrap it when I'm not putting anything up on the knuckles. Now I'll show you how I wrap it with gel pads. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I do this with my Skoltech gel pads, but um, you know, this, this applies to probably any sort of gel pad you might put over your knuckles. So up to this point, everything's the exact same. Um, when I go across the palm once, that's when I start to put in, uh, that's when I put in the hand grenade, cover it, put in one side of my gel pad, or one half of my gel pad. Get that locked in, fold it again. Got that locked down, all right. Now I just finish wrapping it just like I normally would. Still locked in here on the palm, not going anywhere. Very secure. Once you put it in the glove, it doesn't move around. And we have this gel padding up over the knuckles. So if you still want, you know, a little bit of padding up over your knuckles, you can still wrap your hands with your gel pads on top and put this on the palm. And as you can see, the, the overall profile not not really any different because again it's just adding bulk to the to the palm so again looks like you know kind of a normal hand wrap job a little bulk here on the palm but does the job so that's how you can do it with the with some gel pads over your knuckles now i'll show you how you can do it with some a different type of padding over the knuckles some foam pads with some fortress fast wraps all right, so here I have the Fortress Nano Fast Wraps. Um, normally there's an elastic band on these size. I cut mine off. That was bothering me, so <laughs> ignore that. I like wrapping these with just regular hand wraps. And put the R up, lay those up across the top there. With these, I don't go over, I don't go around the knuckles as often because you have the knuckle padding there. More padding over the knuckle, but that's how these hand wraps are designed. Again, across the back, that's that's just what it looks like. And then you see on the palm here, the, the hand grenade there. So it's not going anywhere, it's not wiggling, it's not moving around when you put it in the glove. And then when you make a fist, you get, you get a nice fist there. So another way you can try it. Um, so if you really love your Fortress Fast Wraps or you know some version, you know you can use it with this too. So. That's how you can wrap it with those. All right, everyone. So those are my thoughts about uh, the boxing hand grenade fist loaders. And that's a few demonstrations on some different ways that you can wrap your hands with them. 
play around with it, figure out what works best for you. Um, but I definitely think these things are great for hand protection, um, for really your whole hand, not just your knuckles that are striking, but your entire hand. Um, they do a good job at give, making your hand feel very secure um, and just give the ergonomics of your glove, almost regardless of the glove you use it with, um, they just kind of step up that, that level of ergonomics. So really nice. Um, and I train with them all the time now. So I got the links down below if you want to get yourself a pair, whether at the UK store or the USA store. Um, but yeah, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down button two times to really let me know you didn't like it. Uh, comment down below if you've tried these before, or if you have any questions about them, other videos you'd like to see. I do a pretty good job at replying to all the comments. So put it down below, test me, see if I can keep up. Um, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm getting really close to a thousand subscribers. Um, we're going to get there before the end of 2021. So, you know, hit that subscription button uh, and the notification bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. Follow me on Instagram. That's Jordan Miller on YouTube. And I'm on TikTok as well, Jordan Miller on YouTube. So on both of those, um, I post some, some clips of me training and kind of uh, quick initial thoughts like of products that I train with um, and some little clips. Uh, of my little boxing gym in my garage. So um, yeah, follow me there and interact with, uh, with subscribers and you know, followers there as well. So appreciate you guys checking out this video and I'll see you guys next time.